Hello, my name is Bruce Shane, and today I'd like to share with you an activity that deals with Newton's laws of motion and the idea of impulse. You know, I'll start with this egg. Now, if I were to hold this up and drop it, well, you can imagine what would happen. The activities are a falling egg project, otherwise known as the Humpty Dumpty Survivor Series. Now, several years ago, I changed it from the traditional packaging around the egg to keep it safe to the present form of building a device that will actually capture or catch the egg. In our version, nothing is placed around the egg. All the material is placed in the device itself. Now, I have limits on what they may use. And the material list includes two square feet of cardboard, four sheets of newspaper, 15 sheets of copy paper, eight feet of string, eight rubber bands, four cups of some type, eight straws, and eight feet of tape. It's up to their imagination to come up with the best design that will keep my egg from breaking. Now let's take a look at where and how we drop it. I have two different tubes that are attached to the upstairs railing with a string hanging down that leads to the lower level. And this will act as a guide to the project. Now students only get one egg, but they attempt three different heights. The first height is at two meters, and there is a mark on the string which shows them where I want them to release the egg from. If students are successful at 2 meters, they go to the next height and release it from the first tube, which is 4 meters. And if they're successful at 4 meters, they then go to the third tube, which is at 5 meters. So if the falling egg project is something that you want to do with your group or your class, I would suggest dropping a raw egg that's not packaged rather than doing the traditional packaging it with materials around it. It's more challenging, it's more interesting, the kids get a lot more out of it, and I just found it to be a better experience. So I hope you found this interesting, and come back and see me again because I have some other things I want to show you. Okay, bye!